we're thinking about on this wonderful sunset evening. Uh, what Jesus would do if he was in Minecraft. Well, we've gone over to this really nice hill and look at this beautiful view of this village over here. Ah, wonderful. And a nice moon in distance and the sunset. What could be better? So I'm just going to ask you to think about something a little bit strange. What would you think if I would say you are a bit like a block of acacia wood? Hello, I'm a block of acacia wood. And maybe you think why? But let me now just set this on fire with this flint and steel and you'll see what I mean. So look, set on fire, but you've actually gone. Ah, fail. So that was a bit quicker than I expected. Well, what it means is that we're a bit like wood because we're wood and then God's presence sets us on fire with love. And that means we shine bright and make the world a brighter place. So if I set the time to midnight now, and so we can see the brightness better, because the world is often a really dark place. But we are called to be like blocks of acacia wood set on fire. Except ones that don't burn up, but ones that keep burning. So look, set one on fire now. Let's go away from this mountain. See how far you can see it away. You can still see it in the distance, all the way from over the village. And Jesus said that we are the light of the world, and the city on a hill cannot be hidden, and neither can an acacia, acacia block of wood on fire, because it brings light to the world. But when we're just one block, we can't do that much. We can't be that bright. When you just have one log in a fire, it's not really that bright. But if you put a lot together, if we're doing here, we're putting lots of acacia blocks together. If you put all... A group of people all loving God, all loving each other together, it makes a flame that's even brighter. And if you see what we do now, if you set even one on fire, actually, if we are all together, one person being set on fire actually leads to others and the fire spreads and the passion spreads. And the love for God spreads and the love for others spreads. So I'm just going to set a few last ones on fire to keep spreading this fire around. And let's see how bright it looks from the distance. Ah, lots of fire. Don't you just love fire? Ah. And now let's go away from this mountain. And as you see as we go away from it, that's even brighter than last time. Even brighter. We're going... Uh, there's pesky clouds in the way, but if you keep going, look, you can see from further away, you can see it even brighter than last time. And think that was only a, oh, that was only like nine or so blocks, was it? I can't quite remember. Think about that if you had thousands of blocks all set on fire with loads of love for Jesus and love for each other. It would change the world and fill it with so much light. So let's go back over here and we'll think of a, another thing. A way of this actually being even brighter, and it involves one of my other favourite bits of Minecraft, which is lava. So let's first of all, let's extinguish these flames. Uh, can I do that? Ah, yeah, let's get rid of them. Ah, bye-bye flames. Sorry about that. It's all a bit dark now, really. But not for long, because we're going to get some more acacia planks and make a bit of a empty container. It's a bit like a box without a lid. So the idea is we're going to think about us being like an empty container waiting to be filled up with the lava of God's presence. So, but unfortunately these pesky clouds are in the way again. Ah, oh, must have chosen too high a hill, but never mind. There we go. Almost complete. There we go. Oh yes. Another layer I think would do it. Oh no, the cloud is really blocking the way now. Ah, I think it's time to turn the cloud off, don't you? Wouldn't it be good if you could just do that with the real weather? Let's just turn the cloud off, get rid of it. Look at that. Clouds off. Great. I think we need to do that every day in Britain. But here we go. Now we've got an empty container and that empty container is a bit like how we are waiting to be filled up with God. Oh look, a bee. Oh, nice to see you bee. Thanks for popping by. So 
So anyway, so yeah, that we are a bit like an empty container waiting to be filled up with God's presence. But that's what God really wants to do. And so he fills us with lava, red hot lava. Not lava that destroys, not lava that burns as it's starting to do here, unfortunately. Nothing like that. Lava of love. Lava of wonderful, red hot, white hot love. So it's so desperate to break out, it started burning down the acacia blocks already. So there we go. But the thing is, it looks quite nice now. It's probably quite bright. If I go away from the mountain a bit, it still lights the place up quite a lot. But the thing is, that's not what it's meant to be. It's not meant to just be in a box. Jesus says, do people put uh, a bowl or do they cover over a lamp? No. So you see, if we, we were to put a lid on this little container here, we put a, oh dear, oh no, break out of fire, break out of fire, ah! Okay, it's good you can extinguish fire with wood on Minecraft, isn't that great? If only it worked like that in real life. Never mind, but there we go, the fire's out. That's just how much it wanted to break out. But look, we closed it all up. And sometimes we close everything that we do up into a box. We don't let God's light shine out of us. But what God wants to do is not only let it shine out of us, but he wants us to do even more. He wants it to flow out of us and change everything. Now, here's a bit that I like about lava. I like how it flows and looks like an amazing massive volcano. So, if you are, uh, maybe I could use TNT. Might explode everything too much though. I know, if I break open the sides, that will be like God's presence breaking out. Look at that lava. See, when you put a lava block down in Minecraft, it acts a bit like a source of lava. And that's a bit like what God does in us. He creates us as someone from whom his presence can flow out and set other people on fire with love. Remember, this lava is not like nasty lava. This lava is the lava of love. So God wants us to be like what this mountain that was snowy, it's now becoming a volcano covered in the lava of God's presence and shining bright. Now look at this. It's still night, but it almost looks like it's day. It's burning away all those remaining blocks, anything that's keeping us in the box. And as, as we go away again, we can actually see that this is even brighter than before, even brighter than any of those flames. When God's presence breaks out, when God's presence flows down out of us, it makes us so bright. And look, it's still spreading. It's still going down. When his presence comes out of us and shines, he lets us make the world a brighter place, shining with love, bringing light to all the people in this village and everywhere else. God's presence is like lava, flowing out of us and setting other people on fire with love and making the world a brighter place. So, thanks for watching, and if you have any ideas, uh, other ideas for stuff we could do on Minecraft, let us know, because this is a new thing we're trying to experiment with, and we'll see how it goes. But, apart from that, have a great weekend!